Hello and welcome to Sniply. Uh, in a previous video we talked about conceptually how Sniply as a marketing tool can help you improve your marketing efforts and drive conversions through content curation. Um, today I want to go much deeper into how you can actually use Sniply, how to set up your brand profile, how to set up your call to action, and how to add it into every link you share. And so to kick things off, I want to show you an example of what the end result is going to look like. Here is a demo Sniply link. Um, and when people click on that link, they'll be able to read the article. This one here is an article on entrepreneur.com that I can share on Twitter or Facebook with my followers. But not only will they be able to read the article, they'll actually see my brand profile in the bottom corner here, along with my call to action and my button linking to my landing page. And so uh, today I want to walk you through how you can set up your brand profile, your call to action, um, and, and teach you how to actually snip links and teach you how to add call to actions to the links that you share. And the first thing you need is a free account at Sniply. So you can come to snip.ly to get a free account, uh, no credit card required, absolutely free. And that'll give you access to the Sniply dashboard. And the Sniply dashboard is where you'll get all your analytics, but also where you're going to be able to set up your brand profiles, call to actions, and create Sniply links. And the first thing we want to do, first and foremost, is to set up the brand profile. And so in the navigation here, you'll see a page for brand profiles. That's where I'm going to go. And the brand profile is the logo and the name that's going to appear in all of the links that I share. And in the top corner here, you'll see a new brand option. I want to set up a new brand. I'm just going to use this smiley face here. Of course, you'd be uploading your company logo or a photo of yourself if you're representing a personal brand. Uh, my brand name, I'll just use Happy Company. Uh, my home page, I'm just going to use example.com. Um, of course, your home page is going to be your home page and your landing page. I'm just using example.com because this is a, a demo. And so I'm going to go ahead and create this new brand profile. And once you've set up a brand profile, you'll see that your brand uh, is currently empty. There's no call to action, no analytics. And so the first thing you want to do after you set up your brand profile is just to go ahead and create your call to action. That's the message that you will see on the page. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, you'll see a preview at the bottom here. That's what your call to action is going to look like. And of course, there's lots of customization options. Uh, you can change the colors and whatnot, but I'm not going to go through that in this video here. And uh, my message, I'll say, come visit our website. Uh, the button, I'll just leave it as click here. The button URL is where you want people to go when they actually click on your button, click on your call to action. I'm just going to leave it as example.com, but of course you'd be using your home page. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish that call to action here. And so now I have my brand profile set up and I have my call to action set up. And that's all I need. I can start snipping links now. And so uh, let's, go, uh, let's go to Wired and see if there's anything interesting today that we want to share with our audience. Uh, let's see, there is your Instagram app just got a big makeover. Sure, that sounds like an interesting article. Uh, so let's say you come across an article like this one and you want to share it with your audience. Instead of just sharing the link, you can use Sniply to add your own call to action to it. And so what I want to do is I just want to grab the URL. Uh, I'm just going to grab this URL up here, wired.com, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to take it over to Sniply and you'll see that uh, at the top, of your Sniply dashboard, there's a create snip option. I just need to paste the URL there. So as you see here, it's wired.com. I'm just gonna hit create snip. And that's gonna allow me to add a call to action to the page. And so you'll see uh, there's a drop down of call to action that you can choose from, different brands. And of course, we just set up this one using the happy company brand with the come visit our website call to action. And you'll see in the preview here, that's the page, and this is how the call to action is gonna look like. Everything looks good. I'm gonna hit snip, and that's gonna generate a unique Sniply link. And this part is really important. It's this unique Sniply link, and this one here, it's snip.ly slash p6ozx. Uh, this link is the one that I want to share on Facebook, Twitter, or Buffer, or Hootsuite. And what happens when people visit this link, when they click on this link? I'll show you an example. Just going to go to that link that I just created. Uh, your followers will be able to read the article. Your Instagram app just got a big makeover from wired.com, but not only can they read the article, you'll see in the bottom left corner there, that's our call to action that we just set up. That's our uh, kind of happy company profile logo. 
uh, along with our message, come visit our website, and a button linking to our landing page. In this, you know, when they click the button, it goes to example.com, which is what we used earlier. But of course, instead of example.com, you'd be using your own landing page. And so there you have it. Um, you just learned how to set up a brand profile, set up a call to action, and create Snipply links. And so uh, now that my call to action is set up, I can reuse this call to action as often as I'd like. I can set up new call to actions if I want to drive a different campaign. I can set up different brand profiles. Uh, and all the analytics will be kept track of in the Snipply dashboard. And so you'll see here in the brand, uh, in the call to action, now the Wired article is showing up. And you know, I've created one Snipply link, you know, no clicks so far, no conversions, no verified conversions. But that's how you do it. That's how uh, you set up a brand profile, set up a call to action, and create Snipply links. And so in future videos, I'll go deeper into how to customize your Snipply link, as you'll see in the example earlier. Um, you know, it's a white background, blue button, it looks very default. And so I'll go over how you can actually customize the look and feel. Also play around with advanced features like A-B testing here, being able to A-B test different messages to optimize for conversion rates. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching.